welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video welcome to barefaced freya this morning we are going to be doing today a bit of a chit chat get ready with me i feel like these are super easy to film but also quite important to do every once in a while just to keep you guys updated have a bit of a catch up answer all of your guys questions so i did ask over on my instagram for you guys to ask me all the things that you've been wondering lately and i have a long list of questions i did actually do an assumptions box as well so a few of you have sent in some assumptions for me to talk about and answer and whilst doing it i thought i would get ready this morning so i have my makeup bag here ready to go this is from the flat lay company it's so good and it's just super easy to open up and have all of your makeup on display but before i get into doing my makeup i do very kindly have a sponsor for today's video so i have some face masks to try from Oya. They have such a wide variety of masks to choose from and I thought I would try out one today, this morning. The first one is a derma face lifting mask. You might have seen these before online. I certainly had and really wanted to try this one out. Keeps everything lifted, toned and sculpted. Whilst hydrating as well because it does have a vitamin E in and seaweed. Once you've cleansed and dried your face, you remove the mask from the packaging, apply it directly to the lower part of your face, pull it up, attach the loops behind the ears and adjust the mask until it remains secure in a position leave on for 20 to 30 minutes there's a little display there with images so you can see what that one looks like and they have also sent me some of their silicon masks to try out which these are great for anti-aging so i think you're meant to start anti-aging products from around 20 to 25 that's when your collagen levels reduce over time and you start aging. They've sent the Oya All-in-One Anti-Wrinkle Patches. This set actually contains one for your forehead, your eyes, your smile lines, which I definitely need if I can use anything to avoid getting fillers. It's worth trying out. So it's basically a non-invasive alternative to derma fillers and Botox, which if you guys would prefer to avoid that, then this may be for you. So they also have a neck patch in this one, which again, I've noticed aging on my neck. And then chest, not so much for me, but this pack does include one of those as well. And then this one is the Oya Facelift Anti-Wrinkle Patches. So this one contains the one for forehead, eyes, smile lines and necklines. This one's probably quite suited to me. And then they also have sent the eyes and smile one, which is the one I think I might try out today actually, because I do have a uh, jumper on. So trying out the neck one on camera is probably not ideal. I prefer to do it when I've done like my evening routine and maybe even sleep in this because they do recommend to use these for at least an hour, but for maximum benefits, sleep in them. Once you've cleansed and dried your skin, which I have done, carefully remove the seal from the patch position above the desired area. Make sure to stretch the surface of your skin as much as possible before application. After you apply the patch, gently press on to flatten out any air bubbles. And then after use, all you do with these are rinse them with just water or a mild soap. Let them air dry adhesive side up and you can reuse these up to 20 times, which is amazing. I'll leave a link to their website below where you can shop all of their products. They have no no parabens, fragrance or allergens, so great for if you have sensitive skin. You also have this card which you can stick your patches on after use. The silicone along with the embossed dotted pattern makes them contour to fit all sort of face shapes. Basically a one size fits all. So this is my first patch going on. Super minimal as well and discreet and perfect for travel size as well because they just come in the little sort of sachet. See how I have creasing here this will help stop that just stretch the skin apply it on et voila so the way these work is they lock in moisture increase blood flow to purify your skin and give it that kind of youthful glowy complexion which i know we all desire so as you can see the silicone part here and then the you can kind of see the embossed dotted pattern there you just simply remove that 
apply to your smile lines and there we have it so now i have applied my face masks and eye patches i'm going to come back in an hour or so just to check in with you guys answer some questions and then start getting ready for the day with my makeup so if you do want to check out oya again i will leave the link in the description box they also sell serums and lotions also some hydrogel eye patches which i really want to get my hands on i will see you guys in about an hour and we are back i've actually just clipped my hair back just to keep it off my face and out of the way still very much on my skin they haven't budged super easy to remove it doesn't like pull or tug on the skin i'm gonna go rinse these and be back with you guys in just a sec okay back in the room coffee in hand ready to get going with some questions and assumptions and to start my makeup i have a couple of new products that i've been wearing and trying out let's get some questions on the go my skin's feeling nice and soft and prepped and ready for my makeup couple of assumptions first quick fire just to get things going and whilst doing that i'm going to apply my base of this laura mercier pure canvas primer this is called it's an illuminating silicone free that just kind of brightens and gives you a really nice kind of base to work with i've just realized i don't have a mirror in here it's probably not ideal let me go get a mirror okay back with a mirror Oh, you'd have thought, I would have thought of that sooner, but no. Let me just move that down and zoom you in a bit. So, uh, the first assumption is you used to be a smoker. I have never been a smoker. I have, like, in uni, I've tried to smoke a cigarette, but honestly couldn't even do that. Like, the breathing in just made me cough and splutter everywhere, so no. I've never been a smoker. I've tried a cigarette, just not for me. The next assumption is lockdown has made you argue more than ever. I would not say so. I wouldn't say that it's changed our relationship. To be honest with you, it's not like Tom's been around all the time anyway because he's been busy working on uh, his flat development, which obviously for work purposes he's allowed to go so our lockdown hasn't so much been that different to normal life because we're both self-employed anyway and like work from home it's not really made any difference to us so i would say no the next product i'm going to go in with is this laura mercier tinted moisturizer this is a new product that i have been trying it's in the shade 2w1 natural this is great if you're wanting an alternative to a foundation you just want something light to medium coverage for like an everyday basis it's got spf 30 in it as well i just put on the similar sort of amount to what i've just used that primer next assumption you've cried this week i have i cried this week i probably cry every week to be honest i'm quite an emotional person not even like sad crying just a 15 second TikTok can make me tear up. That's how much, like, if I see a sad video or a funny video or happy video, like pregnancy announcements or like military families being reunited with their dad or dogs being reunited, I'm just like, I tear up. So yeah, I probably have. I did cry, I'm not gonna lie, the first week we got Barney because it was so intense. I was fully expecting it to be hard, but also it was a whirlwind of emotions. It wasn't just getting a puppy and the the harder times to having a puppy, which actually he's not been that difficult as, a pu as far as puppies go. He's been pretty good. Um, but also the love for this new little fur baby. <laughs> I think the first couple of days there was a... A time when he like was stretching on the sofa leaned and then fell off and he was absolutely fine he got up but i was like oh my god he dropped off the sofa oh i'm just i'm an emotional person next assumption it was your idea to get barney than tom's yeah definitely was i am a dog lover i've always wanted a dog tom loves dogs too but he would he was 50 50 he would love a dog but it's my responsibility and it, he's my dog essentially but obviously we're a unit we're a couple so he is our dog but i am the one that feeds him i'm the one that like gets up to let him out in the morning and tom like i said is here there and everywhere with work so i'm the one that is here during the day looking after him so he's very much my responsibility and it was my decision with Tom's approval. I wouldn't have got a dog if he was adamant against them because I would want him to also love and walk him and look after him. You put a large deposit on your house. There's quite a lot of questions about the house actually. So we'll talk a little bit about that. 
flats. We put 25% deposit on the house. Um, you can get mortgages where you put less. We were actually looking to put more with the mortgage because we're both self-employed. It can be quite hard to get a mortgage. Oh, by the way, I'm just using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Ivory 3. So we were thinking about putting, we thought we'd have to put like a 35% deposit down. Um, but when we were able to do 25, we took that opportunity so that we still had some funds to be able to get going with renovations. That was another question that I got asked quite a lot is when are the renovations going to start? And um, to be honest with you, we're ready to go. We've had the architect's drawings drawn up. We have um, the funds, like we're, we're able to get going. The only thing that was kind of delaying us a little bit, I mean, obviously it was Christmas, New Year, my birthday, we got a puppy. So we've not been in a mad, mad rush, but everything is sort of lining up now to the point where we are ready to go. First step is to get roofers in and we're actually using the roofers that Tom used for his flat development. So it's a case of we're waiting on them being available to get going. So we need to get scaffolding up. We're gonna have the front of the house redone whilst that scaffolding is up. Windows put in and replaced throughout. And then phase one will very much be the loft conversion and the upstairs two floors basically whilst being able to live out of downstairs and then phase two will sort of transition into the downstairs the ground floor extension and basement so they are two big projects which um are definitely sort of probably going to be the second half of 2021, as soon as we get the top floors done, then we'll be moving straight onto it. It's not like we're gonna wait for a few years. We wanna get on with renovating. We're just getting builders quotes. We're just ironing everything out. Like I said, we've got a brand new puppy, so I'm not in any major, major rush to get going right now. But if the roof is ready to get going tomorrow, I would say get them in. And of course I will be documenting everything because I want to keep you guys posted but I also want to be able to look back on the before and after and the whole process. So I will be doing a full series of renovation vlogs. Next assumption is you inherited money to help buy your house. No, we didn't inherit any money to help buy our house. And the other one was um, that Tom actually paid for the house or paid the majority. Um, we paid 50-50, everything was split halfway. Another thing was people were saying, have I got another job on the sideline to be able to afford this property? I had someone say, have I got OnlyFans? No, I think, I think people underestimate how much you can earn on YouTube. It's a really lucrative platform and it's new, it's a new industry, it's a new form of marketing that's super targeted towards a specific audience. So if a brand wants to reach out to people who are are like aged between 35 to 40 and are female, then far better than advertise on my platform where that is the majority of my audience than a TV ad you might get skipped forward, fast forwarded on TV or you know, family of four, only one's your target audience, they might be out on the toilet during that ad break. So it's very specific in terms of you're able to see my demographics, brands are able to see who has clicked through and used a product. So um, yeah, and obviously I'm so grateful to each and every one of you guys for being able to make this a dream career and be able to get me a dream house. I can't wait to renovate. I'm so excited to get going with renovations. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next up I'm gonna use some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Hula Toasted. This is slightly darker than the Hula regular bronzer that Benefit do. And let's go on to the next assumption. You only have a few great friends. This is a hard one for me. Uh, another one was all the places that I've lived. So I've touched on it before about being military household, military upbringing military kids and i feel like only other military kids will ever fully understand what it's like to grow up moving house every two years living in so many different places having to make new friends all the time and not really having a good solid base friendship to be able to then carry that through for years and years and years so the only really old friends that I have are family friends that we've kind of, like my parents have been friends with their parents and we've, you know, 
like godparents and family that you choose that kind of family friends and they've most of our family friends have boys so i don't have any girlfriends from family friends i have stayed in touch with a few people from school a couple of girls in fact three in particular i've stayed in touch with i don't really have a handful of friends that i would class as like lifelong friends i have quite a wide range of friendships that aren't as close as i would like them to be and that sounds really sad but I do, I think because I've met so many people that I've kept in touch with quite a few and I do have quite a few friendships, but they're all fairly new or like different groups from different here and there. Like Lydia, who is here on YouTube and does Instagram, I would class her as a lifelong friend and I keep in touch with her regularly and she is me basically she's probably been the closest friendship i've ever had in terms of like we get each other um but having said that i'd still class that as a fairly new friendship so i feel like we have many years of building on that friendship and um you know experiencing life things and changes with each other we still have that to go you know she'll still have her old friendship groups which I have my old friendship groups, but I wouldn't say I was, you know, particularly close with old friends. So yeah, I don't know. I do have, I, I'd say I have lots of friends, but close friendships, not so many. I have lots of girlfriends that I chat to and meet up with every once in a while. And I have lots of friends through Tom as well now. Like we have lots of couple friends. I'm just using a bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder just to kind of set a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna use a blush. I have this little NARS orgasm like sample size. Well, I have a full size, which I probably should just do with opening, but there's something about the fact that, well, there's still product left that I might as well just use this. I probably should just get out the full size one. So yeah, I think I probably would say it's as a result of being from a military household and also naturally being quite an introvert and being a home person. I like to be at home that I would say that I'm in a situation like that where I have lots of friends, but they're not as close as I probably like. I probably would prefer to have a group of three to four friends that I'm super close with. But I would say I have more like 10 to 15 girls that I speak with, but not as close as I would like to. I have a couple that I'm definitely close to. Anyway, I'm rambling. You spent over 2,000 pounds on Barney. Yes, I feel like um, puppy prices have soared because of COVID. We were gonna look to buy it this time anyway, regardless of coronavirus situation and everyone wanting puppies in lockdown. Uh, I think it's actually really sad because when I was looking up quite a few ads online for puppies, there were quite a few that had people had bought and decided that it wasn't for them or, oh, actually we're now having to go back to work so we can't have a puppy. And like, so, you know, there were like, three, four month old puppies online. And it was just so sad that people had sort of taken a puppy in without properly doing the research or knowing how hard it is to have a puppy. Um, but yeah, we, we paid over that for him quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. You stay up late. No, I'm an early riser. I actually, especially with having Barney, we're in a very much in a routine at the minute of, uh, <laughs> waking up super early he has a body clock that seems to wake up at 6 30 every single morning regardless of what time we go to bed regardless of whether or not he has an evening walk regardless of how late we feed him his dinner so if i'm sleepy at about half nine and he's fast asleep by that point by the way we try and keep him up and uh, we have done before kept him up still woke up at 6 30 um so yeah i am an early riser but not even as a result of Barney, I've always naturally been a morning person over a night owl type person. Dream brand collab, ooh, that's a good one. I'm just gonna use a bit more Laura Mercier powder. That was the iconic illuminating drops in original. I'm just gonna set any makeup in my smile lines because I've only used those oil patches once. So we've gotta reap the rewards and keep using them. I'm definitely gonna use them overnight, one night. I really wanna just see the benefits and wake up in the morning because it is an instant benefit if you actually look online they have 
some before and after pictures of people using them and you can definitely tell a difference instantly which is amazing i feel like when you get instant results it's all the more satisfying and dream brand collab i would say i love obviously primark i love the bargain homeware stores like home bargains um i also love fashion wise zara is a fave they don't really tend to work with influencers at all um but i do i just always have done always love zara you know some people some girls growing up were always top shop girls i love top shop but i always would choose zara and then also obviously lux homeware the white company <laughs> i'm just gonna go in with some brow pencil from hourglass just brush them through have you ever been a brunette i wouldn't say i've been brunette but i have been darker i'll leave a picture on screen um of the darkest i've ever been and i asked to go more like my natural ashy kind of darker color um, but it ended up coming out quite warm toned, which I didn't really like. So I switched back to just being more ashy blonde and I don't think I would ever do that again. Have you had your teeth done slash whitened? I had braces when I was younger and I'm gonna be honest, I never wear my retainer anymore just because it's like gross as well. Like the thought of having, the fact that I've had that retainer for however many years since school, I just don't like it. I'm just using some cookie highlight from benefit just to highlight my brow bone but there's just something about it i feel like maybe one day i would do something in terms of like there's gaps in terms of when i smile there's a little gap there and whitened no not professionally but i have used the crest whitening strips when i used to live in america I swear by them they're so good some people do get sensitivity with them though i never did uh, but i know tom did and my mum both did so i think it's just trial and error wish you had bigger boobs <laughs> no not really i think i've had times where i wish i had especially like growing up in school you always wanted to be that girl with the bigger boobs i never was social media oops has made you more confident this was interesting because usually i think people would think the opposite people would think social media makes you self-conscious makes you body image conscious but the way that it was worded, I actually would agree. I think there are so many girls out there promoting body positivity and showing different angles, different lighting, and how much of a difference it can make. I'm just gonna use the number seven precision lips pencil. And I already have a bit of Carmex on, so I'm not really gonna do anything else to my lips just to keep it nice and natural. I would say it's made me embrace my curves a little bit more and learn that you know everybody's different and, and we should embrace that. Well, this is a new try actually, a new thing I've been trying out the last couple of days. This is the Lash Idol by Lancome. Lancome Hypnose Mascara is an all time favorite, old classic fave of mine. Um, so when they sent me this, I was excited to try out. It is good, I wouldn't say it's as good as Hypnose though, but it is, it is a good mascara and it doesn't transfer, which is amazing. If you were to manifest your life in five years, what would it be? And this I wanted to touch on because I have previously mentioned about getting this house, like the story behind it and the like fact that we manifest, I manifested this house, the whole situation, Barney as well. So I thought I would sort of end on this sort of story of how we got the house if you believe you can achieve because i really do believe that and i think everything happens for a reason there were actually quite a few houses that we saw and liked didn't get and when we found this house honestly it kind of made everything else make sense about why we didn't get the other houses this in comparison is this house is just perfect for us it's fell in love with it straight away everything else we were looking at within our budget was sort of a three bed semi um which is perfectly fine obviously it was an upsize from our previous house which was a two bed mid terrace which was tom's that he bought years ago so we wanted to invest together three bed semi sounded perfect for just the two of us that's all we really needed when we came across this five bed detached across four floors with uh, an amazing garden it almost felt too good to be true. Well, it didn't, I wouldn't say it felt too good to be true as if, oh, there's something wrong because it is obviously, you guys have seen the empty house tour, it's a project. There's a lot to be done on it. And the previous owners were well aware of that. This is a really old Victorian property that needs a lot of work done to it that they 
saw the potential for having someone like me and Tom move into it and make it our home and live in it for many years to come and really make it our own where I think there were a lot of investors looking around to maybe convert it into flats. So for them, it was probably a bit of a sentimental thing that they wanted it to go to someone like us and it was a auction property that um, we were advised would go well above asking, which we were fully anticipated. We thought it's, this house is worth it. Once fully renovated, it can be a amazing, amazing property. I'm actually just gonna pop on a little bit of this Jo Malone vitamin E lip balm just on top because I feel like my Carmex is slightly worn off. When we were looking around and it was still very much at their family home, there were lots of pictures of Labradors and Tom made a comment about pointing out one out and obviously the owners must have heard because um, I was like oh by the estate agents that were being shown around by I was like oh we're looking to get a dog as you know as soon as we move in we really want to get a dog to make it our home and I've been waiting forever and we're actually looking at Labrador slash Golden Retrievers. My dad then had his accident a couple of days later, the airplane accident. So I rushed back home with Tom to make sure my mum was all right. This was COVID as well, so we couldn't go and see him. And it was all a bit of an emotional whirlwind. And then we got a text. We knew that this property was like fast moving with it being a, a, an auction property. You've got to complete within like 28 days or something really to the point where we just knew that it was the perfect house maybe the wrong time because of all these factors of it being an auction property it needing to move quick dad just had the accident it was all a bit much and then we thought well if it's meant to be it will be <sighs> we then got an email when i was at my parents house saying from the auctioneers saying um we just tried calling couldn't get through if you could give us a call back we have some news and it was oh my god why am i getting emotional see you cried last week i cry all the time and it was the owners had pulled it from the auction and said no to other offers because they wanted us to have it and they said something about a Labrador comment swayed it. They'd had, over their 50 years of living here, they'd had seven different Labradors. Um, so they loved dogs, they rescued dogs. They saw us as what they were because they were our age when they bought this property. So for them, it was just like a factor that they were like, this couple have to have this house. And look, I'm sat in it filming. So obviously he wasn't in the contract, but Barney was pretty much in the contract of getting this house. Fully manifested this house. As soon as I saw it, I pictured us in it. I pictured the dog. I pictured the renovations. I even had on my mood board that I created however many years ago, a like Victorian property, a golden retriever. I can see the big beautiful Christmas tree in the bay window, which obviously we haven't had yet but we will do, hopefully this year, if not next, but however long the renovations will take us, it will take us to make this property our perfect home. So yeah, that is gonna sum up my um, video today. I hope you guys have maybe learned something new about me, have had your question answered. If you have any more, feel free to just message me over on Instagram. I quite often do little Q&As over there anyway. My coffee's now gone cold because I've been chatting so much and getting ready with you guys. Very natural, this is just my everyday makeup, quite light and simple. And thank you so much to Oya for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I will leave the face mask that I use linked in the description box if you want to check it out please do let me know how you get on and I'm really intrigued to try the neck one because like I said that is definitely a I'm not gonna say problem area but an area of interest for trying out these masks so I will probably keep you guys posted over on my Instagram future vlogs on how I get on with those and yeah let me know how you get on with them too thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys